Hi guys, so today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit in the uh, hill work to music uh, ballpark, uh, which is called Frisk. So it is having your dog putting his front legs up against the wall and you being able to pat him down. Now, like a cop frisking down a uh, rubber or um... <laughs> a rubber. We'll go with rubber for now. But um, yes, I'm gonna show you how you build it up nice and slowly. We haven't done this one for a long, 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 long time. So um, it's gonna be like teaching it from brand new. So we'll go with that and um, we'll see how we go. on. asking your dog to jump up and put his paws, front paws only, on that wall. Every time he comes up, you're gonna reward, say your treat word, your trick word, which is gonna be frisk for me and Koda and Nick. So, okay? So, come. So he's doing it side on there, that's why he's slipping. So I'm gonna move myself and see if that helps. Frisk. Nice, good boy. Frisk. Yes, good one. Good one. Frisk. Yes. Ooh. immediately on that one because I wanted both paws to be on the wall. Frisk. Good. Sit. Frisk. Good. That's it. Good boy. Frisk. No. Frisk. Good. Oh, you've lost that one. So with that one, he came on to me, I used my no word, I used my treat to bring him back to the wall. Ready? So now he's got the idea of frisk meaning up on the wall, I'm going to try and get him to stay up there longer. Like we have done with a few other tricks, like the um, head down, the crawl. I'm just going to leave the treat up there and use my weight command, okay? So frisk, good, wait, good frisk, good boy, good boy, so frisk, wait, good wait, good boy, ready, frisk, not on me, frisk, and then wait. counting probably to three seconds and then he's getting that treat. If you take it for too long, the dog loses interest and you've lost you've lost your dog and you need to start back back over again. Alright? Ready? So frisk? No. Frisk. And wait. Good way. Good boy. Good boy. Ready? Wait, frisk, and wait. Good wait, good boy, good boy. Ready, frisk, frisk. And 
and wait. Nice, good, good, good. So we've got the frisk and we've got the wait. So he's up there for a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask him to frisk, I'm gonna ask him to wait, and then I'm gonna to start to walk behind him. And then I'll walk back and reward him and let him off. Ready? Ready, frisk, wait. Wait. Good boy. Well done. Wait. Wait. Clever boy. Any chance? Good boy. Clever boy. really quickly so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask him to wait I'm going to pat him down I'm going to move back and then he gets his trick so all I'm doing is building it up nice and slowly so that he gets an idea of what the overall trick will be okay come here so frisk and wait wait I'm going to put my treats down wait 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 what a clever boy. Yeah, you're so cute, you're so clever. Yes, you are. Ready? Keep ah, this. And wait. Wait. Put my treats down. Wait. Frisk. Pat him down. Frisk. Good boy. Clever boy. You can have two pieces. Good. So he's clearly started to remember what the old trick was and what, what he needs to be doing. That's why I went for the full pat down, all the way down to his tail and back up again. What you want to start to do is once you can move around to the back of your dog, give him a slight pat on the shoulders, then move back and give him the treat. Then you want to come back, do it again, then move slightly further down to his ribs, come back, give him the treat, let him down again, bring him back up. Get further and further down with each time you do it. Don't go straight for the full pat unless your dog is happy and knows that you, and knows what he's doing. He just needs to stay on that wall until you've finished, then he comes back and he gets that treat. Once, you've, once your dog's got the hang of being able to be pat down, then you wanna make this bit a bit more fun, jumping up on the wall. You need to be able to put a hand signal to it as well. So <clears throat> I will come up with that and I will show you how to make it more fun in the morning as well. Okay, so we're back doing some work on the frisk. So I'll just get uh, Coda back up and running with um, getting his paws up on the wall. And then what we'll do is I'll move it to other walls so he knows that it's not just that wall that he does the frisk on. And then we'll move it outside because it's nice and sunny and I want to work outside. So I'm always trying to set him up straight onto the wall so that he's not coming at a sideways angle. 
that's when he tends to slip off either side. Frisk. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Ready, ready. Frisk. So to get a bit more excitement into the frisk and getting him up into the wall quicker, I am running him up. I'll just show you that. So once you manage to get a bit more excitement into the frisk and getting into run up and jump on top of the wall, then you can uh, bring back your weight and then do your pat down like you did earlier. So yeah, I will show that for you as well. And um, that is pretty much your trick done. There's the frisk for you. Don't forget to subscribe for me and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.